to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To sleep for chance to dream. I. There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams will come? We have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes a calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely. The pangs of disprised love, the law delayed, the insolence of office and the spurns that patience merits of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his coitus make with a bare bodkin. Who oh, would Fardos bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er by the pale cast of thought, an enterprise of great pitch and moment, and with this regard their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action. Soft you now, Verophilia, Nymph. In thy orison be all my sins remembered.